Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use EFT to clear out your fears around success so that you can be much more successful in whatever it is you're trying to achieve in your life. Hi, my name is Stefan Gonick. I'm an expert EFT practitioner, trainer, and soulmate attraction mentor from EFTalive.com. Now, fears around failure is much more, you know, people are much more familiar with that kind of thing. And fears around success tend to be more subtle but equally powerful, so powerful they can completely block you from being successful without you even realizing it. So this will show up, for instance, in having this really wonderful goal that you have, but you notice that you can't seem to get going on it. Or you start to get going, but you kind of peter out, things like that. When that's going on, and the good thing to do is start looking for any fears that you might have around success, or you may already realize that you have that. But lots of times, we're not aware of all the fears that we have around success. So in this video, I'm going to start by talking about some of the common fears that we all tend to have as a group around being successful. And I'll also I'll end with an exercise that will help you get in touch with any very personal, specific fears you have if they're not covered by the more general ones that I'll be talking about first. All right, so one of the most common fears around success we have is afraid of getting attacked for being successful. Right now, this can be very close to home if you grew up in a family where, you know, we, we, we all tend to experience sibling rivalry, assuming we have siblings. But sometimes a silver, sibling, sibling rivalry can be pretty intense to the point where when one child has some kind of, you know, really good achievement as, let's say you're eight years old and you have some really cool achievement, you did really well in a class or you did some a project or you're in a, you're in a performance and you know, you got a lot of praise for that. The other sibling will be very resentful of you having the success and they'll attack you for it. And they sometimes can, they can be really mean about it. They go, oh, you think you're so special, da, da, da. you know, do all this stuff that where we feel, you know, we're like glowing in success and all of a sudden, oh, we're getting attacked, right? And so this can create a feeling uh, as an adult trying to be successful that somebody somewhere will attack us out of the blue. And this can be very powerful. It can feel dangerous to be successful in that way. So this is a really important one to address if you have that one. Um, another common fear around success is also family related. And that is sometimes the family will have a certain identity, either in terms of how successful the family can be, or they might identify with a certain group. So for, for instance, so the family may feel like, you know, we, this family is, you know, kind of, limited means, but we're, but we're together, you know, where, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, we are, we are us, you know, right? <clears throat> we stay together, we support each other, but we see ourselves as having, you know, a relatively modest income. And then if you, if your part of your success is to have a much higher income than what was achieved in your family, then you may feel like you'll no longer be part of the family right? Or even that you're being disloyal to the family by being more successful than the rest of the family. But in either way, you'll feel a sense of separation. Like I love my family. I want to be a part of my family. If I'm successful, I will stop feeling part of my family. And this can be a powerful block. Uh, another kind of family related one could be that you're afraid of hurting somebody by being successful. So the sibling rivalry, uh, it may not be like you'll get attacked by a sibling, but you may have had experiences growing up where uh, your success, you, you perceived your success as making your sibling feel bad. Like let's say, you know, you're a, a woman who did a lot better with boys, right? And you, and you had the sister who wasn't, didn't do so well with boys. And you could see her looking really sad each time you get a new boyfriend or something like that. And even though your success may have nothing to do with, you know, the love life, you may be afraid that this particular sibling it's going to hurt the sibling, right? By, by being more successful in that one. And you don't, and you love your sibling. You don't want to make your sibling feel bad. Or it could be a parent, you know, let's say it's an income thing. you maybe your parent only earns so much, say your dad, maybe, you know, only earned a certain amount. And then, you know, it's okay maybe to earn a little more than your dad, but what if you earn twice as much as your dad or three times as much as your dad, you might be afraid that this would make your dad feel like a failure or make your dad feel bad or something like that or your mom, whoever, <laughs> whoever's making money. Right? So again, subtle, but powerful, a uh, source of a fear around being successful, 
right? So you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to be, feel like you're no longer a part of the group. Another way you can feel like you're no longer a part of your family is again a, an identity thing. So for instance, let's say your family was involved in blue collar type work, working with their hands. And the thing you want to do is this more white collar type endeavor. It might be a profession or creating a, a business that's more intellectually oriented. And again, it'll feel like, okay, my identity is now moving apart from my family's identity. And I would feel like I'm no longer part of the family and that would, that could feel really painful. All right? So these are some of them. Another common fear of success is you'll feel like in order to be successful, I'm going to have to work really, 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 really hard. All right? Like I haven't done it yet, but I, there's this subconscious fear that if I'm really successful, I'm going to have to work really hard to get there and really hard to stay successful. All right? And this could then, become this fear of like, well, oh God, that would be horrible. I don't want to do have to do that. Of course, being successful does require some hard work, but it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily as hard as you're afraid it would be, right? Plus there's this idea of, you know, working smarter rather than harder, right? So there's, anyway, there's ways to address that, but that, that's another common fear is that, you know, becoming successful is going to take a ton of extreme amount of work and continue to take extreme amount of work to stay there. Another common fear of success is this feeling like it's going to make me, assuming I'm very successful, particularly in income wise, right? That it'll mean that I will then have to be responsible for and take care of my less fortunate family members to the point where it's going to feel very burdensome, right? It's not to say that you wouldn't want to help family members, but the, the more subtle fear is like, I will, first of all, that I'll have to, it won't be a choice from the goodness of my heart that I'd like to be helpful, but feeling this, this sense of obligation and responsibility, like I would have to, and that I would have to do a lot of that, right? And there's this feeling I do it, I would not only have to do a lot of it, but it'd be more than, like it'd be to the point of harming myself. So it would feel like this heavy burden that I would have to take on if I'm successful. Now, of course, you know, like I said, you may want to be helpful, but there is no actual obligation, but there's this part of us that can feel that there's an obligation and it can feel overwhelming. So that's another common fear around success. So, so these, are, these are a bunch of the common ones. There's many more, but it starts getting less and less common. So I don't want to keep listing, you know, 10 more different things. So what instead I'd like to do is to give you an exercise. Like, you know, th this may have, you may have related to a bunch of the ones I've said, but you may suspect that this isn't all of it and it could very well not be all of it. Lots of times we'll, you know, we'll have actually quite a long list of fears around success, right? So this exercise is going to help you get in touch with your fears around success specifically. So the way you do that is you think about what would be the, your final st state of success, right? Like what's your goal? Let's say just as an example, your goal is to, you know, to create a business and make a million dollars a year, right? So you imagine, you start by imagining, okay, what if I just imagine yourself already having been successful, like I've done it, right? It's like I'm making a million dollars a year, yay. And then you start to sit with it and see if anything else comes up. So the first step, the first thing they might get in touch with is excitement, like, oh my God, I did it. You know, I'm I'm, I achieved my success, fantastic. But if you then continue to sit with it and start just imagining being successful and not just focusing on this wonderful lifestyle you have, but more to start to imagine, like, how would my family feel? How would my friends feel? What, what other feelings come up for me as I imagine being this great success that I, you know, having achieved this great success? And what you'll notice, likely notice, is you start feeling kind of uncomfortable, right? You start noticing that you're feeling a little scared, maybe very scared. And then the next step is to just keep staying with it until you notice what you're scared about, right? What is it you're scared of? And, and just start writing them down. And it's likely to be more than one thing. So when, when you get in touch with the first one, write it down, great, but you're probably not done, unfortunately, right? So just keep staying with it, keep staying with it, and keep noticing, okay, well, what else am I afraid of? And start to, you know, you might all of a sudden have a, a scary image pop into your mind, right? Or you, know, you start starting this sort of growing feeling and as you just sort of scan your life in general after you've, after, you've been, after you've been successful, 
then it, the, the fears will just start clarifying, right? Or there, may, or there may be some negative beliefs that come up. Actually, another common area of uh, fears around success I forgot to mention was um, a lot of people have negative beliefs about successful people, particularly rich people, right? So part of your success is you want to make much more money. There may be these sort of family values around who rich people are, right? So, for instance, a lot of people have these beliefs that rich people <clears throat> as a whole are selfish or only out for themselves, you know, or, you know, things like that. And so you want to get in touch with those. You know, do you have any kinds of negative beliefs around successful people? Because, of course, if you have these kinds of negative beliefs, you know, you don't want to be those terrible things, right? You don't want to be this selfish person who only cares about yourself. Now, of course, that would not be true for you, but we have, we, but these beliefs may come from our family and it's not something we consciously think about much, but they're in there, right? They're in there impacting us. So whatever it is, you just you keep doing this exercise. It's actually good to do the exercise more than once. The first time you do it, you'll get the majority of them, but you probably won't get them all in the first time you do the exercise. So you do it once, write down everything that comes up, rate each one on a scale of zero to 10, right? So you know how, how intense it is, right? If it's a seven or higher, it's probably blocking you from being successful. Certainly eight or higher, definitely. Seven, probably. Um, and, you know, four, five, six, it's just going to make it hard. Not necessarily block you, but make it hard. If it's a low number, probably not a big deal. But you're going to want to do the exercise a few times. You do it once, write down everything, wait a few days, do it again. Write down some more stuff, wait a few days, do it again. And then once you have your list of things that you're uh, got in touch with that the various different fears you have around being successful um, as well as any negative beliefs you might have around being successful you're going to use EFT to tap on them and there's two ways to tap on them a very simple way and then a deeper way the simple way is let's say you have a particular fear around um, you know, I'm afraid I'll hurt my sister right if I'm successful um, you the simple way is just to tap on the fear itself so you say even though I'm afraid of hurting my, my sister by being successful, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself, say that three times. And then every point you just tap on, I'm afraid they'll hurt my sister by being successful. I'm afraid I'll hurt my sister by being successful, you know, on every point. And then you do multiple rounds of that. Um, we start, remember, by, uh, you know, assessing on a scale of zero to 10 how strong that fear is. And after every couple of rounds, check again and see if it's coming down. If it is, fantastic, and you just keep doing it until you get to zero. And then you're done with that fear. We knock that, check that one off our list. Um, but what you may experience is that the fear either comes down some and then stops, or it doesn't come down at all. If that's the case, then you have to look for, uh, you have to use a deeper method. And the deeper method has to do with looking for early life experiences, usually at home with our family, that caused the fear and then tap on those memories All right so that's that becomes uh, the deep method that you need to use so if you have in this example of i'm afraid i'll hurt my sister if you think about memories where your sister looked down or depressed or something like that for you know when you were successful you can tap on that plus you can also talk to your sister right and say you know I, there's these things I want to do, but I'm afraid that I'll hurt you if I succeed. And then you might have this really great conversation with your sister and, and your sister says, you know what, I love you and I would love for you to be successful. And, you know, it's okay. Yeah, I know I'm struggling in my life, but that's got nothing to do with you. And it'll, it's, I will, it'll make me happy that you're successful. All right? So sometimes it's a matter of having a conversation and talking about it. But lots of times, uh, you know, like I say, if you're tapping on it, it doesn't work. Look for early memories. So if you're afraid of being attacked, think of memories where you got attacked, either by a sibling or a classmate or, or somebody, some, a neighborhood kid, things like that. And you heal those memories, and then you'll notice that the fear will have come down a lot. Um, and then if it's, let's say it comes down from a 9 to a 3 or 4 after healing some memories, then if you tap on the remaining bit, it might go, it might go to zero. Okay. So this is how you do it. This is how you you know, release or clear out your fears around success that have been holding you back from achieving whatever wonderful goal that you have in your life. So I hope this helped you. If it did, 
would really help me as well as other people to find this video on YouTube if you click on the like button. You're also very welcome to subscribe because I have lots of other very helpful videos like this. And on my website at eftalive.com, um, I also have this ebook called Change Your Beliefs, Change Your Life, which teaches you how to use EFT to clear out negative beliefs. So in this video, we talked about how to clear out the fears, but there's a whole other method for clearing out negative beliefs that I talk about in this free ebook. And then after the ebook, you get um, a series of EFT newsletters that are all very practical ways of using EFT to enhance your life. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video.